Hello my loves and welcome to your ASMR Reiki point of view session. Today's session is requested. It'll be on heartbreak, healing from heartbreak and letting go of someone. Today's video won't have any tapping noises, won't have any loud sounds aside from the rattle. But as you can hear, it's a very soft, rattly sound. So let's get started with today's session. Before I um, go into the Reiki, I actually pulled two cards today for our session. I asked my tarot deck and my oracle deck to give us a message, especially for those of us who are going through heartbreak right now and are starting a new chapter in their lives. And these are the cards that I pulled. So the first one is a tarot card, the Eight of Cups. And funnily enough, the second one is an oracle card, which as you can see, these are very similar to each other. Both of them show a person here walking away to a new beginning, a brighter future. They're both letting something go, leaving something in the past. With the Eight of Cups card, she's leaving behind her cups here in the water. She's letting go of old belief systems, people that are not helpful or healthy for the future that she's walking towards. And she's choosing herself here. She's letting go of all these things that were holding her back, that were maybe even weighing down her metaphorical backpack, so to say, on her journey. She's discarding these, letting them go, so that she can move forwards. And then this one is very similar. This is the Trust Your Path Oracle card, with the same visuals of a person here walking to a gate, a new chapter, a new beginning. And it looks like it's been quite a long road to this place that we're there in right now, but they're just, they're just about to walk through that door. They're very close now. And it says here at the bottom, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So if you knew you were supported, what would you do? Ask yourself this question, ask your soul, ask your heart this question and listen to what comes up for you. So, I've used these two cards as inspiration for our Reiki session today. I thought I would just try something new. I've been teaching myself how to read the tarot and oracle cards. If you guys want to have more sort of mini readings before sessions, then let me know in the comments. But, we're gonna get started now with the Reiki session. As always, I like to take just a little bit of time here to um, create a, rit a ritualistic space in between the day you've just had and the Reiki session. For today, we will be using the rattle. And we're going to be using the rattle to help come back to the present moment come back into alignment and into awareness with your own body. I'll be using my handmade rattle, which I painted myself. I've got the serpent here with the moon. So, take a moment to make yourself really comfortable making small adjustments with your body until you are in just the right position. Okay. 
and get yourself in a really comfortable position. And then tune into your body, becoming aware of where your body ends and the surface below you starts. Becoming aware of where your skin ends and the air around you starts. Noticing yourself in the room, in your surroundings, becoming really aware of your body. See if you can release any tension from your body, especially between your eyebrows, right at the tops of shoulders, allowing your chest to soften, allowing your hips to soften too. And then tune in with how you feel in this moment. Not judging any feelings that arise, allowing them to be present. Creating space around the feelings that you feel. And not judging yourself for them. They are welcome here today as we work with them. session and I'm going to start by drawing some Reiki symbols right by your third eye to energetically activate today's session. Feel free to close your eyes if you want to. of the future that we had with that person. Breakup is multifaceted. We're not just letting go of the person. We're also letting go of the future that we saw ourselves having with them. So we're going to be cleaning out your third eye, releasing those visions of the future creating space so that a new future that excites you can come in its place. So, I will be using this beautiful piece of hematite. 
as a energetic magnet to draw out those visions of a future that you had with that person. So I'll just be very gently drawing them out. And if there's any specific dreams of the future that you had with that person, just bring them to mind. Energetically, we'll be removing these for you. It's time to get creative and start connecting to a new future for yourself and as important as it is to hold space for the sadness of this future lost it's also important to get excited about the possibilities the freedom, the openness that is now in your future that you can feel however you like. Okay. I have two tiny feathers. I'll be using these to gently comb energetically through your third eye. I'll brush away any remnants, any last bits of energy here that no longer belong, that we are ready to let go of as we move forward to a new future, to a new chapter. We'll be working with the heart center for obvious reasons as we're working with heartbreak. Before we pull any energy from the center, I will be using some levodolite to help soothe your heart center. So just take some time here to connect in with the crystal. Just take a moment to connect in with the Lapidoli crystal. It's a very grounding, soothing energy. Just going to gently place that on your heart center right here. Just in the middle of your chest, right there. Okay. And then we're going to start pulling and cutting energy from this heart center. Releasing the cords between you and that person. 
to help cut the cords, I have my flower agate crystal point. I chose this one because we will be letting go of someone, but in the process, it'll allow us to bloom again. To bloom into a new chapter of our life, of our story. So that's why I chose this one. So, just be gently removing these cords at the base, like so. Allow yourself to energetically let go of this person. You can imagine these energetic cords between you and the person slowly and gently dissolving. Being willing to let go now. Knowing that it is for the good and the best of both of you. Always. I think it's really important when we're going through a breakup that we keep seeing the relationship for what it was, both in its good sides and bad sides. And it's also really important that we don't put the other person on a pedestal, thinking that they are the only person that is a good match for us or that is what we are looking for. That's where the trust comes in, that if this relationship didn't work out, that means that there is someone else out there who will fit you even better. So just surrendering into the feelings that you feel, knowing that soon enough, Things will clear up. You'll be able to see more clearly again. And things won't hurt as much. Being willing to let go of this person. Going in with these tiny feathers again. Just gently brushing through energetically here. 
around your heart space. You're leaving some of that chaos and confusion in your heart right now. Creating an orderly flow of energy again. side right heart shaped crystal I'll be using this one along with Reiki to infuse your heart space with healing to help gently mend your broken heart to find your self worth and self love again and just to make the transition smoother. So, I'll be placing this love of delight to the side now. I'm placing this beauty in its place. Right there. Okay. And then gently infusing your heart center with life force energy or Reiki. to help you find the strength to put your self-care first right now to choose yourself as you walk towards this new chapter taking extra time to fill your own cup to do things that make you feel happy and fulfilled that give you a sense of joy Allow yourself to be selfish with your time right now. To really take time to take care of yourself. To mend your own heart. To find your strength again. And to find your own identity again. Apart or outside of the relationship that ended. Who are you as a person, as an individual? Just going to gently place my hands on your feet here to help root down and ground your energy. So just imagine my hands gently resting on the tops of your feet. 
helping you to reconnect to the ground below you, helping to ground and bring down those energies of the heart, helping them to uh, move out of your system, through your channel through. We have let go of the visions of the future with that person. We have cut the cords and allowed space for self-care. The last thing we're going to do is go back to the third eye and work combination with the crown chakra to help you to be able to see the bigger picture and why this is unfolding. And the crown chakra to help you trust in the process. So, I'm going to be using this picture Dali crystal point. I'll give you some time again to connect with it. And I chose this one because it looks like a pencil. And basically, you have been given a new opportunity to rewrite your future. You are the one writing your story, your history, by the way that you interpret things. You color your history and your past, but it also colors your future. So be careful with your words. Make sure they are supportive to yourself, to where you want to go. Make sure that you're kind to yourself. I'll be doing that you're proud as well. have one hand on your third eye, one hand on your crown. So I'm just um, standing beside you here. We are creating a connection between your third eye and your crown. Allowing yourself to reconnect to that trust, that deeper trust in the involvement of life. Trusting your path. And then coming back to the oracle card. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? Using the imagination and the visions of your third eye to trust and to use your own creative energy to forge a new path ahead of you. Really allow yourself to dream right now. If you knew you were supported, what will you do? And then lastly, last crystal, I have this beautiful scolocyte, I believe it's called. This is one of the more angelic um, crystals that I have. This one looks like a butterfly wing. I'm not sure if you guys can see those creations. Again, just take some time to connect to this crystal. Will be washing its frequencies through your aura to 
give you an extra layer of angelic protection on your path ahead to give you some extra good luck and just to help things go smoothly in general give you an angelic helping hand so just running that through the midline of your body first connecting your central chakra points and then washing it through your whole energetic field and just imagine a sparkly iridescent white energy being infused into your aura from the skull aside You are divinely protected You are divinely guided And you can trust your path You can trust the unfoldment of this chapter of your life Before I let you go, I'm just going to gently fluff up your aura. Make sure there's a good sense of integrity energetically around you. Making sure you're taking up space. Alright my love, that was it for today's session. I hope that you enjoyed and that you feel a little bit more soothed and settled. If you have any requests for future videos, feel free to leave them as a comment below. I'll see you guys very soon for another Reiki session. Bye bye my loves. <laughs>